Want to get the read Thank on you. all of this from former FBI New York Assistant Director Bill Gavin. Uh, as Bill is speaking here, having nothing to do with Bill, but the market is in a bit of a free fall right now, down about 421 and a half points. So, Bill, you're not to blame for that. I'm just keeping people apprised of that. And I'm going to ask you a strange question, but with a point that the markets could be rattled by this if it means that this back and forth on memos and everything mean the, the outcome of this whole investigation into Russian potential ties to the Trump campaign and who's wrapped up in what could get dragged out and, in other words, become a much longer sort of a soap opera than had earlier been thought to be the case. What are your thoughts? It, Neil, if in fact there is a nexus uh, with what's going on with the memos back and forth between the Republican and the Democratic memos to the to the White House, uh, you're very, you're right. It could have uh, impact upon the market, but I'd be the last one to speculate on that. What the, the biggest problem that I see here right now, uh, Neil, is the fact that the Republican memo is out. It was based on classified information that uh, that the, went to the White House, was declassified, and the memo came out four and a half pages. The Democratic side of the House is saying that, well, they didn't include everything in there and they kind of hid something in the memo uh, because we have more. We got a 10 page memo. Uh, th there's a couple of problems here. If the 10 page memo gets released by Congress and goes to the White House and the, and the, and the president decides, no, I'm not going to declassify this, it has too many sensitive things in it, uh, you know what that's going to create a storm of, of uh, arguments back and forth and people sticking their tongues out at each, each right, other. Right, right. Bottom line is, the bottom line is, if you recall that memo, which you saw, is marked unclassified now. The problem with that is it was top secret. It seems to me that most of the information the FBI brings to a FISA court is in the secret realm. When I see top secret, I say maybe there was something else in the supporting documents that came from another intelligence agency. So, you know, that all remains to, to be seen. But I think a lot of the supporting documentation has to be uh, uh, declassified or else somehow come out in a manner that's acceptable the, the, that people can look at. Uh, I just wish that, you know, this never should have happened. We should have, we elect adults to look out for the best interests of, of U.S. citizens in Congress, and we're getting people acting a little less than adult and, and acting for their own party or for their own personal interests. They got to stop that. This is the American, the American public needs to know what's going on and not be uh, 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 drawn up in all this uh, yeah. drama and theater that goes on there. One other thing, Neil, we need to wait for the Mueller investigation to be completed, and it just as importantly, we need to see what the inspector general for the department is going to come out with, because that's going to be, I think, a bombshell with some more information that we don't have any idea of yet. You know, Bill, whatever people think on the left or the right, Republican or Democrat, about uh, bringing all of this to light, what might have started the investigation in the first place, two men have already pled guilty and are cooperating with the government as a result. So do you believe what Trey Gowdy was saying, that the two are are, are kind of mutually exclusive here, um, that this has nothing to do with the ongoing Mueller investigation, which is uh, going about its own pace. Uh, Neil, I think that Trey probably knows more information right. than I know, and I, I, I probably am not uh, qualified to, to make that assumption. But it appears that maybe there is a little bit of a disconnect between those indictments and what's going on uh, with the background now. All right. Uh, you're a very modest man, Bill, but thank you very, very much. Uh, Bill Gavin, former FBI New York Assistant Director.